Hi, my name is Sarah Hokinson. Hi, my name is Bennett Goldberg. In April 2020, we began to plan for the next run of this course. It seemed impossible to use our content without acknowledging the impact of COVID-19 on all of us. Our community agreed, and I reconnected with Aaron, Jonathan, Juan Pablo, Nikki, and Olivia to try to make sense of a virus that remains hard to make sense of. Why do some people get sick and others are completely asymptomatic? Will postdocs be able to find jobs after this? Will our lives return to normal someday? What will that normal look like? Yet even as our lives seem completely changed by COVID-19, another pervasive aspect of our society, the systemic racism within it, remained unchanged with devastating consequences. On May 25th, 2020, a black man named George Floyd was murdered by the police. This has triggered a national reckoning, a time for all of us to bear witness to the years of racial injustice by the police, as well as to examine critically the structures of oppression throughout every aspect of society. We do not all live in the same America, and so normal looks different for each of us. For those of color and other marginalized identities, normal can look like personally experiencing violence simply because of identity. Every day can bring trauma from prejudice or worse. Normal looks like differential death rates on communities of color because of COVID-19 or proclamations that limit international citizens from entering or remaining in the United States. For me personally, up until this point, normal in these situations has sometimes looked like stepping back. I told myself I'm making space for others, that given my own privilege, these are moments where I should listen and not talk. I've thought, really, who needs or wants my opinion on this? And more than that, am I even certain that I will say the right thing? Won't I just do harm? Maybe some of you have felt similarly. But the fear of a mistake should never overtake our responsibility for action. Our system of higher education isn't just broken in need of a fix. It's not that simple. It was built to oppress people based on their identity. While large scale changes are needed, it's also true that each of us needs to start somewhere. It is wrong to expect already marginalized communities to work independently to dismantle a problem they didn't create. Reflecting on your own identity and being in dialogue with a community aren't just important small steps you can take in this module. They are an essential path toward meaningful action and change. All week we have thought about how to step forward, what to say on this video. It comes down to this. This content is here because the Postdoc Academy project is committed to building a new normal. Talking about identity and privilege is not easy. It is not comfortable for many of us. This content is our first step toward a more inclusive and equitable new normal. I hope you will join us in it. We also hope that all of you are taking the necessary self-care you need to support yourself during this difficult time.